Welcome back to another episode of the Hip Hop Slime Battle Rap Podcast. Y'all know why we here. Let's get straight into it. Y'all know why we here. We are here too. Drake card. Till death do us part. Super battle event. Six battles. Six dope main event type style battles. It's taking place. Now, we are here. Like, there's no, there's no more running. Murder Mook and Easy to Block Captain. That battle is not on the card. That's behind this. We know why. There's no reason to even chop, to even talk about that no more. There's no reason to chop that up. Uh, nothing. We got our six battles. We are here. Drake card. Death do his part. Let's get into these predictions, man. I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to get right into it. Pat Stay versus Real Sick. This really depends on what Pat Stay we get. I didn't like the Pat Stay against Kayshawn. That's the last Pat Stay that I saw. I didn't like Pasté against Kayshawn um, a lot. Real sick. I don't think. I, I, listen, I think Pasté will make a mistake if he if he get up there and he play with real sick. I gotta go with real sick. I gotta go with real sick. Either two, one, or three. Oh, I, got, I gotta go with real sick. Um, just cause just just because of Pasté's last performance, I didn't like at all. So um, I gotta go. I gotta go with. I gotta go with real sick in this one. Jazz the rapper versus Gaddis. I'm gonna give it real, man. Jazz the rapper to me has to prove me, prove, her, prove, have to reprove herself to me, right? I'm sick of this shit. How do we? How do we? You know, I know what Jazz has done before. I, I you know, she has some classic battles. She has some classic performances, but she hasn't battled in a long time. I'm counting the two on two. I'm counting the two on two, and she still hasn't battled in a long time. And let's go back to that two on two. Her, who she was battling against, her opponents. Damn near forfeited the battle in the battle. They, they 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 damn near gave them that battle. But I'm still counting it. So counting the two on two, we haven't seen Jazz in the last five years. How many times have you seen Jazz battle? Twice? Or am I off? So Jazz the rapper has to prove herself to me. And this will be the battle to do it. But until I see otherwise, I'm actually going with Gaddis. I'm going with Gaddis in this battle. Gaddis over Jazz the rapper for me. But we will see, won't we? But I'm going with Gaddis. Jazz the rapper has to prove. I haven't seen uh, Jazz Jazz enough for me to uh, for me to say that she's going to win this battle. Or I don't even. I forgot how the girl rap. I don't know. I don't know how she sounds when she raps anymore. So that's just how I'm giving it up as far as Jazz the rapper goes. T Rex versus Rum Nitty. Technically, it's a rematch, right? I think Rex got the first one, but that was a younger. Rum Nitty. This is a more polished, seasoned Rum Nitty. This is actually a tougher one because I like. I think Rex beat Easy the Black Cat. I, I think that. Um, and I like. I like what he was saying against Easy the Black Cat. In the in the um, Ultimate Madness battle, I think Rum beat Geechee. I know they split the money and the winner didn't matter, but I think Rum. Had, I think Rum got him. I think he got him. This is hard for me because um, I like. I like both of their performances. They just they coming off of. Um. I'm gonna go with rum. I'm gonna go with rum. I'm gonna go with rum. A close battle though. I'm just, I think this battle is gonna be close. I'm gonna go with rum in a close battle. Calico versus Sue Surf. Uh, can Sue Surf put together another star-studded performance? Just shortly after he put together a star-studded performance against John John the Don, or are we gonna get a lackluster Surf because his last battle was so was 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 so close to his standards? Based on his standards, this battle was close. Are we going to get that? Also, Calico, Surf, they're going to be talking the same type of street shit. Is, is the street shit he said to Calico, is it going to stick and land the same way when he says it against other people? I don't know. I'm still picking Surf because if he comes out anything like he came out against John John the Don, I think it's a rat for Calico. It's a rat. I got to go with Surf with this one. Tay Rock versus New Jersey Twerk. Now, I don't think people are going to like what I say about this. and People probably people probably going to think I'm crazy. I think Tay Rock is going to 30 New Jersey twerk. That's right. I said that. I'm the guy who pointed out Tay Rock's losing streak. I'm the one who pointed out every time Tay Rock loses. I'm the one who stands up, says Tay Rock got body, blah, 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 blah. Tay Rock last battle, he 30 Chilla Jones. Chilla Jones is one of the dope. Chilla, wasn't, didn't Chilla Jones get champion of the year last year? He bodied 30. He completely obliterated. He put Jilla Jones' body bag in a body bag to me. To me. So I think t- I'm going with Tay Rock for 30. I think both opponents respect each other, as we saw in the face-off. I don't think Twerk is going to have three amazing rounds. He might have one. I- and that's really why I think it's going to be a Tay Rock 30. I think uh, 
I think uh, Dujanji Twerk is going to have an amazing round. He's going to have a lackluster round, and then he might not have a round at all. That's I'm, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be one, two, or three. Where it's going to land at, but that's how his lands are going to. That's how I believe. I believe Tay Rock is going to have three solid rounds. Therefore, I think Tay Rock's going to win this battle. Three zero, I might add. And last but not least, Gichi Gotti versus Loaded Lux. I, I don't bet against Lux, man. I don't. I don't. I don't bet against Lux. I don't go against Lux. If he now to me, I don't know what people was saying. When I, when I go back to the L- Loaded Lux versus Averb battle, he cooked Averb. He he obliterated Averb. If he goes into this battle talking to Gichi Gotti, how he did the Averb. I don't. I don't see. I, I can't. I don't. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, Gigi Gotti can. I don't know if he can punch his way out of it. I don't. I don't think so. Now, there's a few bars I, I, that I know Gigi Gotti's gonna bring up. I know he's gonna. You know, he's gonna bring up. You, you came up with Deontay Wilder. It's gonna be low hanging fruit. That's what you're the reason he lost. The battles in L.A. I can see Gigi Gotti saying, uh, "Luck, you don't know what terrain you want." Like, I can see some of the angles. Lord uh, Gigi Gotti's gonna play, he, and he's gonna get crowd reaction if he pulls those angles. Even though I know he's going to do it, he's still going to get the reaction. He's it's still going to hit the, the the way it's supposed to. I know for a fact, it might be in the first round. He's going to say, Lux, you don't know who terrain you want. I know he's going to say it. I know he's going to bring up the uh, the Deontay, coming out with Deontay Wilder. I just know it. So, we'll see, man. We will see. Those are my uh, Drake card, Till Death Do Us Part predictions. I'm going to be tuned in. Make sure you uh, follow the Hip Hop Slime Instagram page. I'm going to be posting my my uh, my my vote, my my battle, my battle results live on the Hip Hop Slime Battle Rap um, Instagram. I'm over them out of here. Make sure make sure you guys rate, subscribe, and review on whatever platform you listen to this podcast on. It will greatly be appreciated. I'm over them out of here, man. See you guys. Let's, let's, I don't know if I have time, man. I might do a a recap a recap podcast episode of this of this Drake card. But I'm out of here, man. See you guys after the battle.